Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Auto. So continuing on with my little mini YouTube series about what is under the bonnet on an electric vehicle. This one is a Peugeot Ion. So the Peugeot Ion and the Citroen C0 are the same electric cars. They're actually uh, just a rebadged Mitsubishi iMove. They're made by Mitsubishi in Japan. So let's lift the bonnet. So there's not much under the bonnet here because it is a rear wheel drive car. So most of it is at the back. But let me just put this little bonnet stay in. So mostly at the front is the 12 volt stuff, the 12 volt electrics and your 12 volt battery. So this is your 12 volt battery obviously. All electric cars have a standard 12 volt battery. So the big traction battery, which is typically 400 volt, which sits under the floor, that powers your electric motor and your heater. Everything else in the car, the headlights, the dash, the wipers and all the ECUs in the car is driven from the 12 volt battery, just like a normal petrol or diesel car. And then here we've got some coolant um, and obviously we have a little radiator at the front. Um, this is your brake reservoir of course, windscreen washer bottle. And then down there we've got all our fuse and relay boxes and then we've got our braking system. And then everything else is at the back of the car. So at the back here is all the crucial stuff. So it is particularly dark. I apologize if this isn't going to come out very well, but it is uh, evening now, so I had to do it inside. So uh, we have this metal cover. Uh, I've taken the carpet out as well. And then underneath is this metal cover that's fixed down with uh, four bolts. And then this is your engine, effectively, your electric motor, your drivetrain. So we can't see it here, but underneath this lot is the electric motor that's driving the rear wheel. So there'll be two little shafts driving your rear wheels. And then these aluminium blocks are all the uh, electronics, your charger and your inverter. Uh, it's always really dusty and dirty underneath here. Um, at the back there, not that we can really see, is the orange high voltage cable. So everything that's in on orange conduit is the high voltage cables from the charge ports or the traction battery going into the electronics here. And then here we have another coolant bottle um, because the electric motor and all of this electronic blocks are water cooled. So it pumps water around the electric motor and around the base of these units to uh, take away all of the heat. Then if we look here underneath the car, we can see the electric motor there and then the drive comes through this little single speed final drive gearbox there. And then we've got our two little shafts there driving the, the uh, rear wheels. And then up there we can see the two units that we could see previously from above. That's all the electronics, the charger and the inverter systems. And then obviously here is the battery pack. So the battery's got this uh, plastic tray underneath. It's a nice flat bottom and it runs right from the uh, full length of the car right from the rear axle there right up to the front and this obviously this is your front wheels and then here we've got the hoses the coolant hoses from the radiator at the front and a few high voltage cables running back through to the back where it all happens so the electric drivetrain on these cars are really reliable good old japanese technology they were the first, they, these cars came out in, um, well, in Mitsubishi form in about 2010, uh, but they've really proved themselves, they're very reliable vehicles. The only maintenance on them, which I've done other videos on, is you change the gear oil in here every five or six years, I think. And the only sort of common issue you get on them is this gear selector. This is your cable that comes from your gear selector inside the vehicle, and it moves this bar here, and this is where it's selecting the various um, drive modes because on the Mitsubishi version you have um, different selection of regen and reverse and this is exposed to the elements as we're uh, at the back of the car underneath and they tend to get corroded and lots of dirt and rubbish in there so you need to lubricate that if your gear selector gets stiff but I've done a video on that but overall incredibly reliable vehicles.